Hello and welcome to the FinCast tutorial video on how to use the video players. Uh, as standard, there's two video players in FinCast Studio. And these are built-in VLC players and we've quite a few um, controls that we can use for the video players. Okay, so we're going to start about loading your video files uh, into the load section here. Uh, we've got what we call load videos, which basically loads all your videos in a predefined folder so for example if you're going to maybe have a show that's going to consist of 10 pieces of footage and the show is going to last for an hour it's probably a good idea to put the 10 pieces of footage into one folder and select it specifically for your show so as an example we will just use um, some music video folder here on this computer let me see um, libraries videos uh, music videos okay so they all load in into a list into the right hand pane here whatever selected on this tab as for example default is player one when I select a video track it will be represented for video player one okay And as equally, if we um, select for, say, uh, player tab two, and we select a video, again, this will be for video player two. Okay, so we can see here, um, just a couple of references. It gives us the full duration of the video. and It gives the frames per seconds of the original video loaders. And we can see this one is 30 frames per second. Now you can also load a video file as an individual file with a load button on each specific player. So if we choose this one, it represents uh, video player one. Let's see, can we get anything there? Uh, I can use, just step, step out once, okay. So I'm going to put this into the preview and we're going to talk about the specific buttons represented to each player. So we've got the roll button, which is equivalent to play and pause. We have the loop button, which is continuous play or basically in simple terms, when your video ends, if this button is turned on, the video will start to play again and again and again until you unloop it. When you press the loop button, you get an indication here, illuminated in green, and you also get one up at the video player as you look up. Okay. The roll on take button by default is on. And when we turn it off, it becomes a gray silver color. Okay, so roll on take basically means when we take from our switcher or auto take from the preview, into the program out. You don't need to worry about pressing play on the video. It will automatically start to play. And this is quite useful from a workload point of view. Here we've got a speed bar which basically plays the video much slower moving down towards the left and much faster moving up to the right if you need to do that. And here we have a step in and a step back. I should say step forward and step back would be the correct terminology um, with keyframes. So this is every single frame can be stepped through as in single individual frames. Okay, have a look up at the preview as I step in on single frames. So you can see as I'm clicking the frame button, uh, you can see Rhonda's hand starting to move there and if I step back you can see forward again and back so it's single frames now on the video player we like to give indication of what's going on uh, especially to the person who is actually going to be doing the video switching and working the software so we have up here a progress bar of the progress bar will by default be white 
and it will count down the remaining seconds to zero from the full length of the duration time of the video itself. So I'm going to put the volume down um, where you still get to hear me and I'm going to uh, take this, I'll just simply take it over and you can see the autoplay happen. Now we keep around the progress bar up on top here, we can see that it's twice, we can see the counting down uh, to zero. It's a short video, it's only 40 seconds. So when it gets to 20 seconds, it's going to turn to amber to give us an indication. This is going to finish soon, so get ready and set up for your next switch, whatever that will be. And when it gets to 10 seconds, it will progress bar will really illuminate to red to say, you know, be ready, it's going to change now. And this gives you a good indicator to be ready to switch and that got caught with a still or paused image. Okay, so that's basically the video players in FinCast Studio. They're very simple to use, but very powerful. Um, being VLC embedded players, they accommodate many, many, many uh, formats. And I think somebody might have asked, is it possible to pay an MP3 file on it? I think it is. It should be. And we do plan to add some more features into this uh, in the future. So again, the website is fincast.com. And thank you for watching. Bye now.